Morning guys and gals, Crazy 45 Cat here. It's 1029, 61 degrees. I'm just leaving my local, local, local gun shop. And uh, got some really, really good news. The, uh, well, good and bad. The St. Pete Police Pistol Range just closed December 1st. And they're going to rebuild the whole range and it's only going to be open to the St. Pete Police. Bad for me. But these guys are building a range out here. It's going to be a 25 yard range. And this is nothing but a hop, skip, and a jump from my house. Um, they do all the armoring for the uh, St. Pete Police there. They got a new gunsmith there in his own shop. Plus uh, Ted's firearms, man. Very cool. I'm all excited about it. That's one of their cars there. St. Pete Police Supply. So I just spent uh, about 30 minutes in there. I picked up a couple of uh, Magpul pulls that I like. Two packs, which equals six of them. And uh, I'm excited. Can't wait to get that range. This is right past the, the mall. I can't be... maybe eight miles from the house. So they're gonna get all my business once they open up. It's gonna be great, I can't wait. Really good news. I stopped in at Walmart. Picked me up some ammunition today. What'd I get? I got a box of 45 ACP, aluminum case, and two Winchester White 100 boxes. And I went to my local Walmart right by my house because yesterday I went down to Largo once again and still no ammo in the ammo cases. I don't know what's going on down there, so I just decided to buy my three box limit over here. Glad to see they had the 100 packs of uh, Winchester White, White box. So I only grabbed two rather than grab three of them. Got a box of 45s. been a busy morning. I had my doctor's appointment at 9, 8.45 this morning, and uh, that went well. Not really too many complaints from my doctor, which was good. The blood work all came back good. Um, I'm on the way now back to uh, CVS to pick up some scripts. I got an infection and a, uh, a cut on my leg. And uh, we need to get that taken care of right away. I'm going to get a three-day pack. No alcohol again. It's not a big deal. Maybe I'll take it Monday. <laughs> but uh, get that done. Get it all sorted out. You know, I have this... You guys understand. I have this problem with my leg where my... Uh, The valves in my veins, if you can understand that. Your blood goes down and goes back up your legs, you know? Gets pumped up. Well, I'm, I don't have leakage at my veins. I've got leaks in the blood vessels itself. So water is getting between my blood veins and my skin. If that makes sense. Sometimes my legs get huge work. Don't hurt to walk on them, but they look like they're going to explode. And when I went to my back doctor the other day, I had bumped my shin. And as I was sitting at the doctor's office waiting for my appointment, I looked down on the floor and there's a droplets of water. I'm, and what the heck is all that about? So I moved my foot, looked up, looked up in the air to see if the AC vent was leaking or whatever. When I moved my leg, well, then I saw more stuff on the ground. So when I got into the doctor, he was checking my leg and he goes, Why is your leg wet? I said, It's a good question. Why is it wet? And uh, I explained him what I had going on and, you know, he gave me a, he put a band aid on it. It wasn't bleeding or anything, it was just leaking the water. And the amount of water that my legs retain must be a lot because it was like a drippy faucet I'll tell you 
couldn't believe it. So when I went to my doctor today, we looked at it and uh, that spot is infected. So he cleaned it up, band-aid, and uh, I'm gonna get my script for some antibiotics. Never ends, you know? And I gotta put the Christmas lights up today, trust me. Today. Need to be done. It's beautiful out there right now. 63 sunny, man. There's not a cloud in the sky today. Nothing. So that's gonna be my only job today is get those lights up. That's not bad. I've got maybe one or two strings of lights. I go lift to lift. I gotta build a brace in the middle of my dock to uh, hold them up, but eh, that won't take but a little bit of time. The lights are at least on the patio, so I'm halfway there. So Christmas is getting close. Hope everybody's uh, doing their stuff. I went to my insurance agent yesterday so I could get my mileage off my truck and uh, it looked like Santa's workshop in there. I've never seen that many decorations in a, in a building like that. A little office. It's nice. Nice time of the year. Everybody should be happy. And do what you can for others. Not everybody is uh, in the same shape as a lot of we are. So if you can help somebody, go ahead and do it. You'll feel a whole lot better once you do it. Uh-oh. Look what's over there. The lighthouse lady. Where are we at? There we go. It's for you. I tell you, they got such a cool channel. And that, and Aaron, the pet deer, that, I mean, or the wild deer, that's just amazing to me. Every time she puts a video up, I have to smile when I see that Aaron. opens up, man, that's going to be great. Oh, yeah. Plus a gunsmith right there. Huh. Gotta love that. It's really nice. I got the window down. Beautiful out. tell you, all these boat dealers got all new boats in right now for Christmas. It's pretty funny. Their stock is over full. Uh, I saw the Eagle this morning on the way out for, to my appointment this morning. Um, both of them. One was in the nest. The other one on top of the very highest, high, uh, highest part of the cell tower. And when I came back, I ran to the uh, CVS, dropped my script off, and all I saw was the one on the nest, so. Papa must be out doing something. Gathering some food or something. And these guys have been out here over a week now doing these wires. I don't know what they're doing. They're pulling new cable or what? up there with that power. Those are 440 up there, buddy. Light you up in a minute. I'll keep this on until we get to the uh, cell tower, and then I'll let you guys go. I don't anybody do the speed limit. Hey, 
need to go home and relax. My blood pressure was way, way, way too hot this morning. Why is that high? I don't know. I take my blood pressure pills, but my doctor was a little bit skeptical about my blood pressure. Wanted to know if I was going to stay there or not. That's how high it was. I see the eagle on top. I'll pull over here and get you a shot of it. They're so big, it's pretty hard to miss, you know, when you uh, start looking at them. I'll pull up here in the corner of the road here. Make sure we don't get run over. Put me flashers on. All right. I believe he's out here. Let's see. He's right there. All right. See you catch later.